Hi, it's Andrew from Aussie Sapphire. Just a short video on just how to um, remove and refit our tape lock pulleys onto the motor. Now, these are the motors and tape lock cast tape lock pulleys we use on the AS 6x6 cabin machine. And you'll find them in other laboratory machines as well. So you'll see there's two grub screws opposite each other. There's a third hole um, that hasn't got anything in there. It's just an empty hole with <coughs> with a thread in the half a thread in the tape lock. Uh, it's straight opposite the the gap in the <coughs> in the um, tape lock. So I'll just sit it up here so I can work on it. So just a three mil Allen key and just loosen those two folders off. Just take them a little bit evenly; they'll come loose quite quickly. And just take those grub screws right out. So just retain one of your grub screws, and this is the empty hole. Just a good idea just to put a little bit of light oil, WD-40 or similar, into that. And just start that thread, that same grub screw you just removed, down into that spare hole that had nothing in it. So just get, get your Allen key, and you'll hear it just click off. So it's pushed the taper lock out. Just leave that grub screw in. A little bit, you can go on a fraction more than that. Right there. Just get a couple of screwdrivers, flat screwdrivers, and just gently pry that that off. Sometimes I'll just slip off with your hand. <coughs> so you can see the two grub screws that were retaining that have nothing in there. And this is the one we just used to pull the tape lock apart. So just remove that again. Fit those back into the holes we just took them out of. The two holes that are opposite each other. We'll just leave them out a little bit. <coughs> you can just line up the <coughs> the keyway, and usually it will slip on. Um, an easier way to probably make it go on for you is just to sit it on some. Something like a socket, or I use that, but the socket will do. Just use a flat screwdriver and just slightly expand that centre taper. Just line your grub screw up, and now it will slip on without having to tap it or anything. <clears throat> so you'll see the two grub screws there. So simply just do them up. Just do them up side by side, just do a little bit each side, so that they pull up evenly. And just nip them up side by side, so they pull in nice and tight. So there you have it, ready to fit back, back on.